You're watching the news hour coming up. Spain's government takes legal action after the country's football boss refuses to quit over kissing a World Cup player on the mouth. It's six o'clock. This is the news hour. I'm Samantha Washington. Spain's government takes legal action to try to sack the football boss who won't quit for kissing a player on the lips at the World Cup. And turning to more breaking news tonight, the Spanish government has begun legal proceedings to try to suspend the president of the country's football association. That's after Luis Rubiales today refused to quit over his behaviour at the Women's World Cup final. Now, he has been heavily criticised and is also facing FIFA disciplinary disciplinary proceedings for kissing the player Jenny Hermoso on the mouth. He insists it was mutual and with her consent. But Spain's striker said afterwards that she hadn't liked it. And in another twist in the last hour, the head of the Women's Football Committee in Spain has stood down in protest against Rubiales' behaviour. Sky's Adele Robinson reports. A moment, a kiss and the question of consent laid bare once again on an international stage. Now, Luis Rubiales is refusing to step down as president of the Spanish Football Federation after kissing player Jenny Hermoso at the Women's World Cup final in Sydney. Do you really think I deserve this hunt? People demanding my resignation? Is this so serious for me to have to resign, having done the best management of Spanish football? Do you think I need to resign? Because let me tell you something, I'm not going to resign. I am not going to resign. I am not going to resign. No voy a dimitir. He delivered a vociferous defence to an apparently supportive and predominantly male audience at the Spanish FA's extraordinary meeting in Madrid. She was the one who lifted me up, who brought me close to her body. We hugged and I told her, forget about the penalty, you've been great. We wouldn't have won this World Cup without you. She replied, you're an ace. And I asked her for a kiss and she said OK. He described fake feminism, said the kiss was consensual and claimed he's the victim of a witch hunt, but did apologise for this, grabbing his crotch while celebrating Spain's 1-0 win over England. <laughs> Initially, Hermoso was asked about the kiss on a live feed post-match. She appears to jokingly tell her teammates, I didn't like it. But a later statement defended Rubiales. The head of Spain's women's football committees now stepped down, saying he felt uncomfortable during Rubiales' speech. I gave my decision to my board of directors last Wednesday and they all agreed. Some of them even told me that if that hadn't been my opinion, they wouldn't walk this path with me. And I want to be able to look people in the eye. Lioness Jess Carter says the controversy has overshadowed Spain's footballing success. Do you think he should be? have resigned, that he should have bowed down to pressure? Yeah, I think so, personally. I don't think that someone with that much power should be able to act like that and for him to not recognise and acknowledge what he's done um, and how unacceptable it is for me is even worse. I think the fact that he's trying to argue it and say, make it OK, I think is even worse than ultimately apologising um, and acknowledging his mistake. Rubiala's resistance to stepping down has been met with widespread condemnation. This post from Spain's second deputy prime minister calling for his suspension. As Rubiales vows to clear his name, this is increasingly a distraction from what it all should have been about. Adele Robinson, Sky News. Meanwhile, the, the director of the British Museum has resigned over the institution's handling of a spate of thefts there. Hartwig Fisher says that it's evident that the museum didn't respond as comprehensively as it should have to the loss of 2,000 artefacts. They're worth millions of pounds. Sky's Rachel Venables has all the details. It comes after mounting pressure on the director of the British Museum in such a short space of time from the news breaking last week, of course, that the museum had sacked a senior curator after close to 2,000 artefacts worth, it's thought worth millions of pounds, were believed to have been stolen. And now the director, Hartwig Fisher, has resigned. We have had a statement through uh, saying uh, it is evident that the British Museum did not respond as comprehensively 
as it should have in response to the warnings in 2021 and to the problem that has now fully emerged. The responsibility for that failure must ultimately rest with the director. I also misjudged the remarks I made earlier this week about Dr Gradle. Mr Fisher goes on to say, I wish to express my sincere regret and withdraw those remarks. And I have offered my resignation to the chairman of the trustees and will step down as soon as the board have established an interim leadership arrangement. Just for a bit of background, uh, of course, you'll remember the details, that staggering news uh, that the museum were investigating, uh, the suspected uh, theft of a number of artefacts over a significant period of time. These items, many of them we understand small, including gold jewellery, gems of semi-precious stones and glass dating as far back to the 15th century BC, up to the 19th century AD. Police investigating. We know a man has been interviewed as well by the Metropolitan Police with no arrests made. The Met saying in a statement, we have worked closely with the British Museum and will continue to do so. Uh, but to make matters even worse for the museum in the past week, there's been huge and growing criticism for the way they have handled this issue, with uh, details emerging from an antiquities dealer called uh, Dr. Dr Itai Gradle, uh, claiming that he actually alerted the museum to some of these stolen items, uh, artefacts being stolen and artefacts being sold, sorry, online as far back as February 2021. And Dr Gradle has accused the museum of sweeping it all under the carpet. And in fact, Sky has spoken with Dr Gradle. I think he, he's done the right thing, uh, the honourable thing, and uh, he deserves credit for that at least. Uh, it has been very, very hard, especially those wasted the two years where I banged my head against the British Museum wall and I just couldn't get these people to listen, despite the fact that the evidence I had gathered was absolutely incontrovertible. There was no innocent explanation was even remotely possible for the evidence I sent them, and yet it was ignored. And this just yet another uh, really damning moment for the museum, very difficult moment for the museum to respond to. All the while, we know this police investigation is ongoing, but Hartwig Fisher, the director, deciding his position no longer tenable, and he has announced that he is stepping down.